trying today. Uh, Danny, let's just start it, take it for a spin. Um, this is like the best bottle I've probably ever seen. Yeah, no, this is amazing presentation. It's so, it feels so vintage in a way, like I feel like I should be buying this um, from the back of a wagon with a tooth on top somewhere. It, it's like pretty awesome. Um, the only thing I know about Fenimans is they have a long, long history since like 1905 when Thomas Fenneman struck a deal uh, to buy a ginger beer recipe, I think it was. Um, and since then, uh, that deal actually historically significant, much like the Louisiana Purchase or when WWE bought WCW. History in the making right there. Uh, so let's get a whiff of it. Let's try it. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can feel the. You can, it has a ginger like yeah. punch to that, that aroma. It's potent. Before yeah, it, we it, before it, we even try it, it's a rich kind of ginger aroma. Like I normally don't like the smell of things that are ginger, but <laughs> of ginger itself, I should say. But I, I don't know. Like I like that smell. Yeah. If it was a candle, I'd light it all the time. You gotta get to trying it. I already have. We're not in sync. At all. It's. Really, really great, but that's definitely different. Very different. Yeah, it's very different flavor. You can. Um, You're having a hard time passing this down. I can tell. Yeah, you can really tell that it says on the bottle it's fermented with um, ginger and herbal extracts, and you could you could definitely taste the ginger. I've yeah. never tasted a cola that tastes like this. Yeah, I I really this is totally a brand new flavor for me. I. I have nothing to compare this to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's ginger cola. It tastes like it's fresh, like if it, if it was just brewed. Yeah. I mean, they really come at you pretty hard with their awesome bottle and their... The, 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 ginger, the ginger and the herbs are really mixed in well. Um, it's got a little bit of an aftertaste that I don't really like all that much. Um, but the, the initial taste is actually uh, decent. It's, it's powerful in a way. Yeah, it's powerful. It is. It's really potent. It's really... Um, well, you'd expect power out of a label that has a scruffy dog named mm -hmm. Bravery on it. Is he named Bravery? I think that's what his name was. Mm -hmm. I, I don't okay. know. Well, for everyone out there that's on the Wikipedias and the Googles as you see this, Google it. Let us know. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that was his name. Okay, uh, we'll be back to score Fenneman's Curiosity Cola right after this. Hello. At Fentiman's, we botanically brew our ginger beer the same way we did in 1905. That gives it a smooth burn and deep flavor that you don't get with ordinary gingers. To demonstrate, Arthur here is drinking a normal, thin and weedy ginger beer. Now a proper Fentiman's ginger beer. Fentiman's ginger beer, now available in supermarkets, whatever they are. Okay, and we are back to score Fenneman's Curiosity Cola. As always, uh, Soda Pop Talk is a two-man review system with Danny and I each giving this cola a one to five score. Then we mix the two scores together in a bottle, pour it out, and give you a final official Soda Pop Talk score. So Danny, give me your one to five on Fenneman's Curiosity Cola. I'm giving the bottle a five. That's for sure. The bottle alone, I want to use, save and use for other things. Maybe make my own aftershave <laughs> and, um, and use it out of this bottle. Um, the taste is really just like nothing I've ever had before. Uh, it, you could taste the ginger in there. You could taste the, the unique spices or whatever comes through in the cola. 
it's a great dark cola. I don't know if I, um, I've never been this torn. I'm giving something a four or a five before. I think um, I want to give it a five just so I could get more people out there to um, try something like this because once you start trying okay. things well, like that. We're, we're getting a little bit uh, on the run around here, so give me your solid one to five on it. Uh, I'll do a five. You can do a five on Yeah, I'm going to do a five. Um, I hear all your points. Mm. I didn't really listen to them. Um, but All right, that's cool. <laughs> I cause, Well, I'm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, like, I'm really trying to compare this to something, and I can't. I'm drawing a blank on it. Uh, the the ginger and the herbs, uh, they mix well, but it's really a taste that, I don't know, like, it's not a taste that everyone is going to love. Um, granted, I know, you know, nothing out there really should be, but it's just, this is like a special occasion thing for me. I don't think I could drink this at all every day. It's just not, I don't know, like, I don't really like the aftertaste. Um, I was okay with the aftertaste. Good carbonation, but really lacking in the flavor mix, I would say. Like, I, I don't know, like, I guess if you like ginger, then this is a great cola for you. If you don't like ginger, I don't think you're going to like it. I don't think you would even want to give it a chance if you don't like ginger. Well, you could say that, but it's not too, uh, I've tried the ginger beer before, the, the real ginger beers, and uh, those are tough. Those are tough to drink. But I will say, this is, uh, this would be like a beer drinker soda. It has that kind of it, it's harshness to the, the flavors with it. Yeah, the company did say that they they brew them like a beer. It is yeah. brewed like a beer. Yeah, and so. it shows. It really does. Um, so overall, I think, I'm going to give it a two. I... It's good, not something that I think people would have every day, and it really is something that you're going to have to acquire. It's kind of like when you grew up as a kid, if you didn't really like the taste of alcohol, then as an adult, when you turn 21, you somewhat like it. Um, I think you're, you're really killing the show with this one. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, uh, I don't know. Like, I really... It, it, it's hard. It, it's really just hard to gauge, but it's just, I just, it's just what I feel about it. It's a great novelty, a great recipe, but the execution, I think, in the end, uh, could have been a lot better. Uh, it's it's great uh, for some people, but not great for most people. Mm. So if you're a sophisticated drinker, you should try it. As obviously the, the sophisticated drinker. Yeah. So Clearly. that's what all the curiosity was about for Fenneman's Curiosity Cola. If you like the video, like it down below. Subscribe to our channel. Share your thoughts. What do you think of ginger? What do you think of Fenneman's? What do you think of dogs on labels? Tell us in the comments below. Do you still trust David's reviews after this one? I don't know. Uh, do you trust Danny's pro-ginger reviews after this one? As always, uh, Danny, follow, uh, follow his antics on Facebook. And he will give you all the ginger love you can possibly withstand. So, don't forget, life's a long road. Don't just bring a drink. It's the next thing.